Yo, what's going on guys? BS Gaming here, bringing you another Grand Cross video. And in today's video, we have something of a treat. I'm gonna try and attempt to showcase the Red Esterosa. Now, out of both the Esterosas, he is the worst. So, uh, yeah, there's nothing really else to say. Let's just get into it, I guess. I'm gonna test him out in the, um... The boss, like the boss uh, battles, and I'm also going to be testing them out in PvP. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and see what his uh, best composition is, and it's gonna be based off this skill right here, Rebellion. His Code Destruction is pretty good, actually. I think this might be uh, the best thing about his kit. Actually, I was using him a little bit. And yeah, this skill right here is actually really, really strong. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get the maximum amount of damage I can possibly get with it, and the amount of uh, the max amount of debuffs that I can possibly get with it. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the video, and yeah, let's just get right into it. All right, so I'm gonna go up against the uh, Gil Thunder, Twigo, and Alioni. This is uh, the stage I've been doing the most. But yeah, to get his, like, basically his max amount of damage off with a Rebellion, I'm gonna have to upgrade his skills. It, it, it's a little bit of work, to be honest. He's not, like, this unit isn't, he honestly isn't the best. But he, he can be, hmm, he can be useful, I guess, in certain situations. Now, obviously, we're gonna have him, like, built. So, if you don't, I wouldn't recommend building him, but if you want to, be, be my guess, I guess. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, they're going to do the damage. Alright, so also another thing that affects him is his uh, commandment. It's going to reduce his own attack stat by uh, 20%, but we're going to actually get the full damage before his commandment affects him. So, to Mm, I guess we can do that and that's gonna give Gil Thunder six debuffs now we got six debuffs on him and we're gonna use rebellion so let's see how much damage he'll be able to do we also have gallon on the uh, red gallon on the sub so okay okay 170k yeah that's uh, a <laughs> that's pretty good right Again, it, it's a lot, right? I found that this team right here is the best way to set him up for the max amount of damage he can get with Rebellion. Obviously, there is no max, but 170k is pretty much the highest I think you can go because there's not really anyone else besides Red Slater uh, who does all those um, debuffs besides the blue Merlin, but she only does it on her silver card. Whereas Red Slater, he does it on, obviously, rank or one, right? Bronze. So, yeah, pretty good damage from him, right? And the numbers that we saw, he, was, he wasn't he was really buffed or anything. Obviously, uh, uh, Galther, his um his passive had uh, something to do with it, right? It increased it, I believe, by 10%. But other than that, he had no real support. So, yeah pretty pretty good okay i'm gonna try and do it on hmm i guess i can do it on type disadvantage right all right so let's do that then we'll hmm, i guess we'll do no we'll do this one and then we'll do that all right cool so let's see we should be able to get good damage I'm thinking, ooh, okay, I'm thinking maybe, oh, perfect, that's literally the, that merge was perfect. I'm thinking maybe 80k? Yeah, it's gonna have to be 80k, right, the max, because he's type disadvantaged. Is his commandment affecting him? His commandment is affecting him, so let's, mm, all right, let's see what we can do here. And then we're gonna do that, and Twinkle's probably out for the count. A hundred and twenty-two K on type disadvantage. Woo! That's actually not too bad. 
But yeah, with his rebellion, that skill is actually really good. The only thing is, there's not many units again that can do what Red Slater does. And unfortunately, B Blue Merlin isn't that great either. So yeah, your choices are either Red Slater or Blue Merlin, obviously. Now, he's weird because his passive also increases his attack uh, per debuff he has on him. But that's not really that great. You don't really want debuffs on you. So in, in regards to that, I'm not showcasing that. I'm literally just showcasing his potential, of, like his damage potential with Rebellion. Obviously, if we were debuffed, it'd be higher. But yeah, 170k on type advantage and 122k, not not bad at all, actually. Not, not bad at all. So yeah, I'm going to go into another battle and we'll see what else he can do. All right, so this is pretty much the uh, hardest, I would say, content besides the uh, final bosses and the death matches, right? So we're going to see what he can do here. Actually, we might have got... Hmm, all right, let's do that. Here, I'm really hoping Vivian doesn't freeze us, though. So we'll do... Actually, you know what? I want to see what he can do against... Uh, Hendrickson. I want to see how much damage he could possibly get off on uh, Hendrickson. So this will be basically type neutral. But yeah, Red Esterosa, he's he is he he's pretty bad, right? He's not anything crazy. Honestly, in my personal opinion, he uh, he's kind of one of the worst SSRs in the game, right? Of course. I was going to see if I can get 60 buffs off on Hendrickson. This may not kill him, right? But I'm going to... Mm, yeah, this may not kill him, but this might kill Vivian, maybe. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's, yeah. <laughs> 137k. All right, okay. So, yeah, like I said, he's probably one of the worst SSRs in the game, right? But he, he has potential. I mean... You saw the damage numbers he's doing. He's not bad at all. But in terms of overall kit, he's pretty, he's pretty, like, yeah, he's pretty down there in terms of tier. If you, if you want to work on him, by all means, go ahead. But he's just, he's not anything special, right? Like the green Esterosa, the green Esterosa is crazy. He has taunt on his full counter. He has debuff immunity. He has good damage like they really went all out on him but when it comes to this red one they didn't they didn't really do much in all honesty all right so yeah i think we'll we'll finish this off i'm gonna see what he'll do against um dreyfus here he should basically do the same amount all right so we'll do that yeah, he should do the same amount of damage he did on uh, Gil Thunder. Hmm. All right, we'll go for that. All right, let's see what we got going in terms of damage. And we're looking at a hefty 148. Not bad. Not bad. So, yeah, uh, again, this is with level uh, rank 3. If you were to do this in PvP, the chances of you pulling this off are very low. PvP is filled to the brim with blue units, so it's not going to be easy. But yeah, he he has potential, I guess. Again, they could have made him a lot better. In my part, in my personal opinion, if they would have made Rebellion have weakness, it would have been like it would have been so much better because then his weakness would have procked because of his commandment, and he would have just been doing so much damage. I don't think he would have been better than the green Asterosa, but at least he would have been somewhat viable, right? He could have had weakness and it would have done insane damage. But no, they I guess they decided to just give him cold uh cold destruction or whatever, right? And it's not bad again. Maybe if we get units in the future who debuff and I guess maybe buff the unit at the same I don't know, something crazy, right? Then maybe he'll be useful, but as far as like content goes in the game, there's just so many better options than this Red Esterosa. Like there's just a, a ton of better options. 
But yeah, we've pretty much seen everything he can do in terms of um, content in the game. So let's, I guess let's take him to PvP and see what he can do there. All right, so I pretty much decided to take the uh, the same exact team in the PvP. Now this is gonna end up being a slaughter fest because like I said, there's just too many blue units and they all do pretty good damage. Uh, this is ungeared. And unfortunately my CC suffered a lot because we have, <laughs> we have SR Slater here who doesn't have a lot of uh, CC as it is. And then you have S-Rotes. It's just a mess, right? But I guess we can try and do, we can try and see, right? We can see where, let's try and do that. Yeah, let's just make sure she can only use attack skills. We can try and make the most out of it. I don't think we'll be able to... See, yeah, that's the problem. I don't think we'll be able to... Mm, to showcase what he can do. He can't do much in PvP. He's kind of like... <laughs> he, he's just a unit to have in your box, I guess, for collection purposes. Okay, they went after Slater, which I'm honestly surprised about. But that sucks. I guess I'm gonna have no choice but to go after the Lilia because she's the one with the most debuffs on her. So let's do that just to make sure we get a little extra damage. Um, I kind of want to make sure she... Yeah, I don't think she's gonna die, but I kind of want to make sure she is at least low health, right? All right, so she... Okay. Here we go. Let's... Woo! That, okay, that... Yeah. To be honest, that wasn't the worst. It wasn't the worst. He did a, enough damage to kill her, so... But yeah, obviously if we didn't use the, um... His first skill, she wouldn't have, she wouldn't have died. She probably honestly would have lived through it. But that damage was not bad at all. Considering, right, he's... He's pretty bad. And also, she's a blue unit. So I'm actually, like, I'm honestly surprised that he was even able to do that much damage. All right. Yep. Yep. So again, the PVP, he's not like he's not good for it at all. And it doesn't take a genius to, to realize that. But yeah, I guess we'll go for this and that. Yeah, he is not a PVP unit at all. I mean, it's going to be fun to build him and, you know, just for for shits and giggles, I guess. But Obviously, uh, like a veteran player would not, would not use him in PvP. He's just, <laughs> he's just sub, subpar. Yeah, alright, this is pretty much done. Yep, GG. And yeah, pretty much it, so I'm gonna give him the win, or, or you know, he'll finish me off. So yeah, he's not he's not good for PvP. I don't think we need to take him anywhere else, right? Just <laughs> he's just not good. That's all I'm going to say. Don't don't waste your materials on him. There's not anything crazy about him and there's honestly nothing that you can really do to make him any more insane besides purposely letting yourself get debuffed. But I don't think no one's gonna do that. And other than that, he's he's honestly not he's not worth it. That's this is why the banner's so bad. Because in my summons video, I got I got six of him. I I almost had enough to six six him. That is that was horrible. I wanted to cry. It was so bad. But yeah, like there's nothing else to him. He's not anything crazy. And honestly just skip the banner the green esterosa will be on the coin shop but he if you get him he's <laughs> he's pretty much just like for fun you can do whatever you want but he's pretty much just for fun <laughs> and or a meme but yeah um pretty much that's all there is to him there's nothing else you can really do right i mean he he can't be any better than what he what he is and honestly, he's in the low tier for good reason. There's nothing crazy about his kit. And honestly, I might sound like I'm repeating myself, but there's there's just nothing that he provides. And I feel bad because like he's such a cool character, 
but there's just nothing special like he's just esterosa the red esterosa unit that's probably going to be forgotten right but again this rebellion is actually really really cool if they put cold destruction on more units in the future that's going to be big as long as they're good if they're just like this esterosa obviously they're going to be like garbage low tier but let's say they have this on i don't know assault mode meliotis in the future and he he might actually you know do some damage because this is insane again they should have put weakness on him i don't know what they were thinking maybe they were trying to balance the game because pvp but then again they made red derriere and lost vein meliotis so i don't really think you can defend their decision not to give this unit weakness i mean i guess he introduced this skill but other like other than that there's really no reason to not give him weakness he's such a cool character and if he had weakness he'd be 10 times better than what he is now because he'll proc weakness with either his skill one or his commandment i, I just i i don't i don't get the reasoning behind it but hey whatever again he's not worth it don't summon on the banner because if you get him you're going to be upset but yeah other than that that's pretty much it for this video so if you enjoyed the video please leave a like comment and sub uh consider subscribing if you enjoy what you saw here and if you like garen cause content and other than that i'll see you guys in the next video deuces